know, I had heard that he was actually cast for the role uh, of in, in, uh, Independence Day that Will Smith ultimately got. Yeah. Because he had passed. Um, mm -hmm. I just interviewed Bill Duke recently. And, you know, Bill said that him and Pac were meeting up, talking about doing film projects. Have you actually met Tupac when he was alive? Yes. You did? Yes. What was the inter uh, interactions like? We wanted to, this is not, this is not too long before his death. We, we wanted to work on some films together. Aha. And um, he talked about his belief systems, you know. He talked about our community. He talked about this country and the world. He, he was a brilliant young man and courageous in a lot of ways. Okay, so he wanted to work on films with you. Okay. And how far did that get? Just a conversation? It was a conversation, but we okay. didn't get very far, you know. He was doing his thing, I was doing my thing, but I was hoping that one day we could do something together, but. You know, because Bill was a big director as well, right. as, as, well as an actor. Right. Um, what was it about Pac's acting that you think, that, that you feel really stood out? Being that, you know, you've done so much acting with him. What, what, what was him as an actor that made him exceptional? He just would really embody the role. He would really just go super deep uh, with, with, with the role, with the character. Uh, I like to say when we, we were doing Juice, although I had the experience from doing Lean On Me, Pop actually had the training with doing, you know, Shakespeare and all of this stuff I knew nothing about. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, I like to say when, you know, I'm in scenes with Pop, it just bring my level mm -hmm. up. I have to come up because this shit is really happening. We ain't acting no more. Yeah. He just turned on somebody all the way different from the motherfucker that was just in the room in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he mean this shit. And 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 when you have an actor that's really taking his range to that level, you don't want to be the one to fuck up and break the break 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 the spoil. It's like cut. You don't want to be the cut of that moment. You know what yeah. I mean? So, you know, with 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 Pac, man, his 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 skills just really. Like I said, it was it was just so authentic. Like you know, he you I never I never felt like he was acting. Yeah, man. Uh, Twenty five years old. You know, you look at the body of work between uh, you know four albums, all of which now are platinum or multi platinum. You know, I mean, you gotta. I mean, even though Machiavelli came out after he died, he finished it right before he died, mm -hmm. um, you know, and so many films. I mean, you know, Jews, Poetic Justice, uh, Bullet, Gridlocked, uh, Gang Related. It all at 25 years old. Right. I mean, he star, he's on the poster. He is the star or co-star of all these films, like, it's just phenomenal. And, you know, when I've talked to, I think I, me, and, me and Snoop, we talked about this in an interview where, uh, you know, he felt that, you know, Tupac had almost, you know, almost knew that he wasn't going to be around for a very long time. So he had to hurry up and get this out as quickly as possible. He knew it. He worked like a fucking racehorse, like, the way I work now, I ain't half as what he is. Like, he and Usain Bolt, and I'm like Carl Lewis. But this motherfucker, and I swear to God, this how this nigga used to work. We'd be in the studio, he'd make a song, it'd be like 30 niggas in here, he'd make a song, he'd let him get on the song, him get on the song, him get on the song. As soon as the song go off, he won't even listen to it. Put that shit over there, pull the next beat up. he get on to the next beat. They writing some more shit. Boom, they finish that song, then he say, I'm gonna do one by myself. 20 minutes later, 
he and that motherfucker spitting it. There's three songs this nigga done did in an hour. Three songs, he ain't listen to nine one of them. Then he may go smoke and chill or whatever, drink, come back, pull another beat up. When he and this motherfucker, he and this motherfucker making music. It's funny you say that. I mean, I never met no one in the business period with a work ethic like Bob. Yeah. You never stop. We all get to a place where it's like, okay, I'm going to take a break right now. I'm going to chill out. That pop never stopped. You know, we could be on the set to 3 o'clock in the morning. He's leaving the set. We're going back to the house. He need the van to take him to some club or party or something like that. Like, Pac, you still got energy to do? He's up or going to a studio. Yeah. That was a lot. It was a lot of that leaving the set, going to the studio. You know, um... His, his work ethic. So, I mean, that, that showed in all of the projects that, you know, he were able to, you know, put out like that. Yeah, yeah. Just in, And just look at how much, how many albums came out after he died. Right. It's just, you know, like just the amount of material that he laid out. It's well, it's incredible. It's completely incredible. 25 years old. Right. Uh, the double CD that he, that he did. Um, all Eyes on Me. All eyes on me. Um, I don't think that that was something that was like, okay, we're going to make a double CD. I think one day they all sat down and realized exactly how much material, how much Pac has recorded for one album. We He done recorded two albums with this just one. Right. And like, you know what? Let's make a double CD, and it, and it sparks something. And I think nowadays, you know, artists are dialing back. You know, now it's not about putting 20 and 25 songs, you know, on, on, on one CD or double CD. You know, and I think a lot of that is, you know, the material is, is not there. You know, Pac was, Pac read things that, you know, the average cat in the hip hop culture just didn't, you know, he went and seen plays like Les Miserables, you know, he, you know, he, he, he was, was reading very, Mac, he was reading Machiavelli. Right. He the, was the prince. He was very he artsy. The, the Sun Tzu, know? the art of war. Exactly. Like, yeah. So, you know, he, he had a different, a different mindset, you know. Yeah, man, quite a loss, uh, quite a loss. And, you know, I, I never knew him myself, but, you know, so what you went through, I'm sure, when you heard the news was, was catastrophic. Yeah.